Eric Stroud founded a company called Shark Defense that aims to develop and commercialize shark repellents. Yeah, should we go? Today he's two miles off South Bimini Island in the Bahamas, testing a chemical repellent intended for swimmers and divers. Fish scraps get tossed into the water. Actually, here we go. There's one shark just showed up right now. And it's not long before several four to seven foot Caribbean reef sharks and a couple of smaller black nose sharks are swimming near the boat. Stroud's chumming them in, attracting animals intent on feeding. If he can scatter feeding sharks, he knows he's got a good repellent. Stroud flips open a metal box containing half a dozen aerosol cans. Rotting sharks are known to repel other sharks. Today, his aerosol cans are filled with the fatty extract from a rotting shark. Okay, here we go. Ejecting, time 2.30. Stroud hurls the aerosols into the water. A couple sharks head straight for them. Their noses touch the chemical plumes and they turn away abruptly. Okay, exposed to the cloud, and you see them taking off one by one. It's very interesting, but let's see what happens. After 10 minutes, a couple of the sharks have returned. Stroud's not impressed. Ideally, he would have dispersed them all. His ultimate goal is to find the key chemical repellent and then make it even more potent, even more offensive to sharks. In the meantime, he'll keep on testing his repellents.